Hey guys, so today I am here with a reacting video to Beyonce's new album, Lemonade. I'm obviously very, very excited for this video. I have had the album almost since it came out, um, but I haven't listened to it. Can you imagine that feeling? So I have the album. I obviously know the songs that are really, really popular. Like I think uh, Hold Up and Sorry. And just as a side note, before we get started, <laughs> on my last reacting to an album video, um, <laughs> which was very negative, I people were commenting like, oh my god, you didn't even listen to the whole thing. I do listen to the whole thing, but if I like kept that footage in the video, the video would be literally an hour and a half long. Be sure to leave requests if you want me to do anybody else. Someone on my last video asked me to do I'd have to look up the comment. Somebody asked me to do another album um, and that is coming. If it was you, that's coming. Um, I actually do have that comment saved somewhere in my pictures. So that is coming. But I thought I would do this because it's fresh, it's new. I also thought about doing Drake's album, but I don't know. Um, I've heard that one more than I've heard this one because I've only heard those two songs, I think, from this one. And Formation. I know Formation now that I'm looking at it. So I know that one a little bit more, but I still haven't listened to the whole thing. So if you want me to do Drake's album as well, um, I can do that. Or like Chance the Rapper just came out with a new album. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So this is... Where's the name of it? Pray You Catch Me. There's some hard feelings there, dude. I really like that song and I will say I know there's like controversy over if this album is about um, Jay-Z cheating on her um, or if they just did this as a publicity stunt. Um, I will let you know my opinion when I'm done listening to the album because I feel like I can't really say anything on it until I've heard all the lyrics and whatnot so um, I don't know but uh, I liked that song that was sweet and it was a really good intro to an album. I love this song. <laughs> album or the I haven't watched the video thing but um I like that scene where she has the baseball bat. That song makes me think of Jacqueline Hill. <laughs> In there. <laughs> I obviously really like that song. It's I think it speaks to like a lot of women um and men um that have been cheated on or been in tough ass relationships. What's that beat though? Like that is such a unique, like just, it, it seems almost really like reggae. Like I love um, that uniqueness. It, it's called Don't Hurt Yourself featuring Jack White, which when I saw this, I was so confused. I had to double back. I was like, there's no way that she would do a song with Jack White from The White Stripes. Um, I just don't see that connection, but obviously I don't know fucking shit. Because it is. It's Jack White from The White Stripes. And my heart was like, Whew. I feel like I'm really going to like this one. What an odd connection. But um, I'm really excited for this one because I love The White Stripes. Um, and I love Beyonce. And so... Pfft. Is it going to be like rock? It's going to be a badass song. that like makes me think that the rumors of the like affair would be true like that is like that there's like some hard feelings there and I just say already I feel like this song would beast as a workout song because you're just like fucking you're mad and you ain't even got anybody to be mad at what the fuck that was one of the most angry songs I've ever heard. And I think this is one of the ones I've heard. I think this is the one where they talk about Becky with the good hair. Okay. I 
called Six Inch featuring The Weeknd. Who I know I'm probably going to get so much hate for this, but I'm kind of over The Weeknd. Like, I really liked his album. Oh my god, I'm going to be so fucking annoying for five seconds. I really liked his, like, album before he got popular, and then after that Fifty Shades of Grey song, and they're all on the radio now, I just genuinely don't really like the music he's been putting out. Um, I liked it more when it was really, like, weird and Frank Ocean-y and unique. Um, I'm not the biggest Weeknd fan, um, so nothing against... The Beyonce part, I actually like that, but that beginning where it had the weekend just like threw me off, man. I don't know. It's called Daddy Lessons. Is this a country song? I'm gonna like fucking country. It'd be that song. Fan, I know, white woman. I think it's like supposed to be in my jeans or something to like tweet out Tim McGraw lyrics, but it's not somehow. So I like country, but I guess I could see myself actually listening to that song. It's because her voice is just so soulful, and there's it's just so different than um, anything else. And so I don't know. Would you consider that country? It really sounded like country. It's definitely more like folky country, southern. I love drought. This one sounds really familiar. Why do I feel like I've heard this one too? <sighs> this song's giving me like EXO vibes from her last album. I like that one. It definitely was like a little bit slower, sadder, but I liked it. It was a good mix um, since a lot of the other ones were so like angry and hyphy. This one's called Sand Castles. We built sand castles that washed away. That is one sad song, I will say. That was very sad. Oh my god. Very like relatable though like in a sense like i've never had that personal situation but i see how so many people would um so good call with her this one is called forward featuring james blake if you can tell <laughs> well that was a short song that didn't even have beyonce in it really <laughs> um i liked it it was a good like little what intermission or interlude do you remember when people used to do that, like with every single album, there was like an interlude? It's very, very popular in the early 2000s, I believe, when I was a wee lad. This next one is Freedom, featuring Kendrick Lamar, so you know it's about to be good. love the song. I think it's great. Really, really powerful. Um, Kendrick is such a poet more than anything. Um, so whenever he is on a song or his album, um, it just always makes whatever it is so much more artistic, I feel like. This one is All Night. What a baby maker. <laughs> I liked it. It was cute. Um, not one of the best songs I've heard. But still super good. I'd totally listen to it. Formation, obviously. I think everybody knows Formation, but we'll listen to it anyways. <laughs> I don't have cable, so I don't know, but isn't this the song that she performed at the Super Bowl halftime? And people got, like, really offended by it for some reason? Is that right? Let me know. I think it was this song. Because people got mad that there were no white dancers. And I was like... <laughs> so overall thoughts on the album. Amazing. There's two songs that I'm obviously not um, like 100% feeling. But everything else is gold. Even the two songs that I don't like are good. I just think she's a musical genius. I think that she can do no wrong. Um, I really like it. Regarding the whole rumors Jay-Z type thing... I don't see it. Um, I get the first couple 
songs and how they're very specific and very about um, an experience. Um, but the rest of the album, I feel like, isn't really pertaining to cheating or that um, maybe I'm wrong, let me know. Um, everything I feel like is up to interpretation, so let me know what you think about it. Some people really do think that he cheated because they find that it would be really hard to write the first, I think it's like five songs or something of the album without actually feeling that story. There's also some people who think that it's a publicity stunt um, to get the album more um, press and more attention um, because Beyonce and Jay-Z are such business geniuses. They know what people want to see. They know what to do. And so a lot of people are thinking that it was just um, she wanted to write about this certain thing and so she did. Um, it's just music and music is for the people and it's expressive and it's so important and um, I think to each their own. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments um, about this whole thing. It's not really my business either so um, that is also true like it's not really for us to say if she was going through something really hard and chose to share that with us and express it um i don't think it's up to us to critique it so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i honestly love making these um i think they're so fun again let me know if you want to see any other of these um or anything else subscribe if you want to be notified anytime i upload and i will see you guys in the next video